to order. My name is Laura James. I am the vice chair of the Parks and Rec Committee in Merrimack. Um, we haven't met for a couple months, so I would like to introduce everybody, introduce themselves and make sure your mics are on if you want to pull the mic over. Um, to the left is the Matt, famous Matt Casperius, director of Parks and Recreation. Cinda Gualyumi, the school board rep on the Parks and Rec Committee. Uh, Dan Ricker, member. Michelle Cushman, member and secretary. Nick, Ro Nick Laroach, Boy Scout from 424. Christine Lavoy, member. Maureen Hall, senior citizen. Rep. Rep. What would you like me to be? <laughs> Young at heart. <laughs> <laughs> Whatever. Jackie Flood, member. Rick Green, your MYA rep. And we have a nice audience uh, from the public. If you'd like to introduce yourselves, too, we'd like to welcome you to our January meeting. I'm Anthony Scola on your staff. Thank you. Karen Scola, mom. Nice. Jacob Parker, Jacob's mom. Yes. Jacob Parker. Hi, Jacob. Christine Yu on the uh, PCPS at Thornton Ferry School. Oh, hi. Nice yeah. to see you. Thank you for coming. Okay, um, we have minutes. Thank you for that, and happy January. Thanks for coming out tonight. Ugh. It's great that we have a quorum. Um, we have minutes from November 18th, uh, and I'm looking if you've had a chance to read them over. Any changes or? I read them and tucked them away. Been a while, but been a busy committee. So, if there are no suggested changes, then we need a motion. As Matt said, because I usually rely on Chris to run this, it's been a while. <laughs> uh, any changes, or we could use a motion to accept the minutes as written? Make a Thank motion. you, Maureen. Maureen Hall. <laughs> Maureen Hall, a second? I'll second to it. Thank you, that. Christine. <laughs> Any discussion? Anything like that? All right. All those in favor of accepting the minutes from November 18th signify by saying aye. 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 Opposed? Abstaining? Thank you, Cinda. Okay, it looks like 701. 701. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you, Matt, for keeping me on track here. Okay, so we're all ready to listen to Eagle Scout project proposal. Nick, has, Nick LaRoche has a proposal for us this evening, so whenever you're ready, Nick. Um, I'm ready right now. I even have some of the packets printed out, so you could look at the pictures. Okay, if you, you want to send those around? Sure. Welcome to the meeting. I don't think I printed enough, so well, we can you share. don't share. We'll share. We're, we're amicable. Get over there. <laughs> Have to button. use technology now. Press the button. It is. Oh, okay. <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> yeah, it's awesome. That's great. All right. Yep. So I have on the picture I'm proposing putting up several, um, like putting in actual posts into the ground and having solar powered floodlights mounted off of those. Mm -hmm. So at night it will allow people to walk by, have a floodlight kick on. That way they can get a general idea of their surroundings instead of the going from the one light in the parking lot itself, mm -hmm. which is good for that one spot, but, you know, <laughs> that's that. Unless you're young, then you're fine. <laughs> um, I had on the um, actual, like, way from the parking lot, I was going to put a post in close to the um, existing post there that already has the built-in light on it. Mm -hmm. And um, like there's that little path there, so along there. Going into about, um, there's like that one building to the next to that path and putting a light in between, like um, somewhere between the rock and the actual um, road there. So you can walk along the edge and get another light shining up the road. Sweet, good. Then um, further down, there's the um, little restroom there, and they have 
there already is a post for the restroom sign, but that's not very secure into the ground. It, someone could just go and pick it up and it will come right out of the ground. Okay. So I suggest using or removing that post and putting in another one of these posts and having the flood light above and then putting the restroom sign on that same post, mm -hmm. like lag bolting it that way, because that thing's going to come out of the ground and if someone touches it. And then behind that one, there's those few steps, putting another flood light in the corner. That way there's, like if you were to walk to that restroom, you have a little area that shows what that trail is so you can see your way to get there. And then going down, there's that little, maybe like three foot high wooden post that's in the ground. It has a little no unauthorized vehicle sign on it. If I would be allowed to, I could drill through it and lag bolt the post directly to that, not have to dig another hole and mount another flood light right off of that. Then to the other, on the other side of the road, uh, dig another hole and put in another flood light, and doing it um, so that's staggered mm -hmm. all the way down. And, and then, so having one on the other side and then one by the porta potty to provide light. Um, for that, then um, past the porta potty, having one more so you can see your way to that building, which has a light pre existing onto it. And just point of reference where this project came out of, you know, what as we've been working this past fall on new rental policies sure. um, for the function hall, since we're going to start renting it out, and guess what? It's awful dark over there. <laughs> You know, we, yeah. we had um, the Halloween party in October, and once we shut off the lights on the field, I mean, it's pitch black. So this is just making a safer passageway going up from the function hall up to the visitor lot. Um, and we're looking at solar power just so we don't have to deal with digging conduit into the ground and, you know, those kind of things and not having to pay an electricity bill. Um, but obviously it will help events like Halloween, the, you know, foot, football and baseball games again Absolutely. at night. Absolutely, yeah, uh, yeah. That type of thing. So, um, this even just making the area safer to use. Yeah. Right. Right. It's a great project. Yeah. Right. On the front of the page, I did estimate some costs mm -hmm. having four by four um, posts that are 12 foot high. That way, we can put them into the ground about three feet. Right. So, putting that in concrete, they won't go anywhere, which is nice considering if you look at that little sign that says restrooms, yeah. someone can go like this and take that out. <laughs> There's nothing keeping that in the ground. Oh boy. <laughs> <laughs> On my list. <laughs> <laughs> I could do that for you as part of the project, just replace sure. that post. <laughs> <laughs> All I need to do is be able to lag bolt that sign into it and <laughs> it's done. We missed that one. We did. <laughs> <laughs> I looked at that, touched it, and it's like, there's nothing keeping that in the ground. <laughs> <laughs> Good catch. Might as well kill two birds with one stone while I'm at it. Mm -hmm. Well, it sounds like you've got your plans pretty well laid out in your mind and all the cost items. Are Anybody have any questions for Nick on this? This is a nice uh, presentation. Cool sure. Um, I'm not that familiar with uh, the uh, solar lights. So so essentially, like, you know how on most garages you have that flood light there? Yeah. It's the same idea, only instead of being hooked up directly to a house power line, it has its own um, pa its own battery pack with a solar panel. Okay. So you mount that all to the same post. It's high enough that it doesn't need that much light because they're LEDs and they don't chew up any power. All right. Um, and what's your thoughts about when somebody... <coughs> activates the lights, how long do you think they'll stay on for? Like, is, I mean, is there a timer They're or something like that? Usually, um, they have a motion sensor, okay. and that will make it so they'll turn off when no one's using it, right. but also they tend to last a few minutes, so it gives someone time to actually walk around and, and again, adjust those. Yeah. Okay. Um, oh, they are adjustable? Yeah. Okay. And how much, um, how much actual light do they need to generate the battery pack? Like power to generate it? Yeah. Um, they don't take that much. It's essentially, most of them are just sealed units, so you can 
um, just drill that into the top of it, and it has its own power. Okay. Uh, the only reason why I'm curious is yeah. uh, the, the placement of it. Obviously, the pictures you took are in the fall. Yeah. Or with no, with with no weave. So, yeah. um, they will also be nine feet in the air, which is higher yeah. than a lot yeah. of that but brush. It's just, I mean, it's yeah. It's dense down that road. I just you know, want to make sure that the placement yeah. of these are going to have some enough to get. I'm sure you've yeah. already looked at that, but. Uh, just something to think about, obviously, um, yeah. with the way that the, the trees are and stuff. It's, yeah, we're used to it. It's kind of <laughs> yeah. But um, just, just something to think about. That's all. Okay. Yeah. Thank you. I mean, the only place that I really see that being any form of a problem would be on that road going straight to the building yeah, where, yeah. 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 And it also really depends on what angle you're looking at it. Because mm -hmm. if you view it from the top, one place looks like it's going to get perfect light. If you view it from the bottom of the hill, it looks like it's completely blocked by trees. Yeah, if it doesn't so. need a whole lot of <coughs> actual sunlight, you know, throughout the day to, to build that. They only need a couple hours of good sun. Yeah, that's all. And realistically, they no one's going to stand there in front of it and make it go off for 12 hours straight. Right. No, that makes sense. I mean, <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Yeah, you, you never know. <laughs> <laughs> I'd hope that they'd lose, like, will to do that after. And uh, what about... Um, do you know anything about the replacement of the bulbs, like how long they last? LEDs tend to last a very long time, like years, and they're very easy to replace, especially because they're only going to be about nine feet off the ground, so no one can just reach up and grab it. Right, you they're high enough. Yeah. yeah. Even, like, we have tall kids in our troop. No one can reach up oh, and sure. grab that. Yeah, you have some tall ones. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. 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 But I'm just curious. Yeah. I, mean, I just don't know much about the whole system, so I just want some information. Yeah, those are good Someone questions. Someone with a ladder and a screwdriver. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Simple fix. Like a few bucks for a bunch of light bulbs? Um, yeah, they aren't very expensive. I'm just curious. I mean, there's some light bulbs out there that are really, really expensive. Yeah. 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 Mm -hmm. and, and just to no. your question, Dan, you know, I've got something very similar to this on my driveway and my, my house is surrounded by 200 foot pine, tall pine trees and mm -hmm. they still work at night. So. Uh -huh. Oh, okay. Do they have storage the capacity, the batteries? How much storage? Um, they have enough that they'll run for hours Yeah. They and they're only really going to be on for a few minutes, but they will generate enough power to keep them going. Yeah, even on a, in a rainy spell, I suppose. Yeah. yeah. So they will be able to store power, so if it's not very like if there's a thunderstorm for the entire day and doesn't get much light, we'll still have power to light up the area. Oh, nice. Seems like a new generation of light bulbs. I learned that this Christmas <laughs> after I threw out all the other ones and all their LED was yeah. the way to go. Mm -hmm. LEDs have been brighter awesome. and LEDs have been known to last 10 years of continuous runtime, and I do not believe that these would be on for 10 years straight. <laughs> <laughs> If one of those was on for 10 years straight, you're off the that's, uh, <laughs> the idea is you'd I'll almost never have to replace it. Hmm. I'll Good. also just point out, too, the reason we were kind of looking at solar is just with the amount of ledge we have in the park. Oh, absolutely. Wired lighting, yeah. unless yeah. we ran it above ground, would be one branch would bring the wires expensive, down. So, yeah. You may have some trouble with poles. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, so yeah. But so good luck. <laughs> bring dynamite. The only... The real hardest part about the installation of this will be digging the holes, mm -hmm. which is why I want to use something other than a shovel and a hole digger by yeah. actually yeah. getting machinery to do that. Jackhammer, yeah. yeah. I live on the other side of Lake Natacook, from the other side from Wasserman, and we just had the town came in and did a six-street project of town sewage and water after 40 years. Well, they had jackhammers, and you, you just don't know where that ledge is. Yeah. It's sandy ledge. <laughs> yeah. But you should be fine. It's a hill. This is New Hampshire. You, yeah, <laughs> the Granite you State. Have, you need to bring a pickaxe and a shovel if you're going <laughs> to dig a hole. Dynamite. You cannot put a shovel in the ground without hitting some kind of rock. Oh, well, you've got enough guys that can dig holes, I'm sure. <laughs> yeah, I've been on a lot of work days recently, and pickaxe is necessary. <laughs> an option. You are not going to get through that with a shovel. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Well, yeah, sounds great. I just had a quick question. So what did you say roughly you think the estimation of the cost is and uh, will be, and what are you guys thinking about doing for fundraisers? Uh, in total, estimated budget,
between um, $1,200 and $1,400, and I was thinking about doing all kinds of fundraisers between bake sales and um, even using, like, crowdfunding, mm -hmm. which mm -hmm. has been, like, very successful. But um, I wrote down more. I <laughs> but I've had a okay, ton of ideas, so to be no short of it. Show, yeah. That's great. Mm -hmm. Ramp. Ramp. Any, uh, yeah, it sounds wonderful. Yeah. And, you know, we're always looking for ways to improve awesome and so the timeliness. I'm glad you were able to come to Matt for this. Right. Question. Yes. Yep. The town doesn't have a post hole digger. They do, and I was going to mention that to you. <laughs> really? I can save you some money. You can coordinate with public works. That will, that yeah, will take a little, little that, bit of money. That's yeah. why you come here, too, so we can all work together. Yeah. Yeah. That's right. Work together. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> if you would actually, I'd put him in contact with you, but that'd be the best. Yeah. 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 I could also, if we um, substituted that cost, I could add more lights, because there is that gate at the beginning of it mm -hmm. and there's another one of those like three foot high um, <laughs> posts I could yeah. do the same thing and wag bolt another one of those posts with a yeah. another That's LED great. light yeah, but you get the money I did have a comment that um, and I voiced this before but I'd like you and uh, your uh, other the other scouts to let us know when you're going to have a fundraiser so right. we're aware of oh, it I that's a good point yeah to see any sign of one and i know it they happen but yeah. uh, if you could email all of us when a bake or sale Chris. or any anything no, no. or matt and yeah. tell us is that something that can be put on the p and r website yep yeah we, we post them usually on the website and our facebook page and correct and those kinds of things so those are things that and Matt, we're getting better Matt's, at that. Matt's brought to the team. Yeah. There, so. yeah. Mm -hmm. Perfect. All right. Any other questions? Thoughts? Mm -hmm. All right. Do I have a motion to accept our next proposal to add solar lights to Wasserman I'll Park? I have a motion to accept that. Thank, Thank you, you, Rick. Mm -hmm. Second? Okay. There you go. <laughs> She's a second to it. All yeah. right. All those in favor, signify by saying aye. 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 Opposed? Abstaining? <coughs> Congratulations. One Thank step you. done. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you. One step closer. One step down, about a thousand more to go. <laughs> yeah. I'll, I'll touch base with you tomorrow. Um, the next Thank step you, is obviously the council. Um, basically, same kind of presentation, yep. you know, yep. just the details of the project, and and uh, we'll, we'll talk tomorrow about timing of that, when you want to go before yeah. them, and we'll go from there. Yeah. Hopefully, we won't get a major snowstorm or something so oh, yeah, the sure. ground will be thawed and i can actually sure. do this but yeah. Oh, yeah. You'll this be is new day. england so it'll be may and just <laughs> yeah. nor'easter and just probably, right. probably. So why not <laughs> oh you're gonna have a build day snowstorm yeah <laughs> well thank you very much nick's nice yes. nice to meet you and your troop is sure cranking yeah. pretty well man it's awesome great job right. yeah. well thank, right. you. thank you thank you thanks you're all set I Thanks for coming. Yeah, don't forget. You, don't don't forget. We're going to compete. Bake sales. There you go. <laughs> thank you, Dad. Thank you, Dad. <laughs> okay, moving right along. So, do we want to? So I, you can just mention the item, and I can just talk about why we're postponing it again. Okay. Oh, the next one. Okay. Uh, we are tabling the next item, lacrosse practice wall proposal by Tim Hutchinson. Um, he wasn't quite ready. Is that wasn't what you said? wasn't quite ready to yeah. part to, with his proposal yet. Uh, okay. But basically he's looking Thank at you. A, Good night. a practice Keep wall warm. for Bishop Field. And I don't know if he's even talked to the MYA or if it's just lacrosse okay. board or. Okay. Not to my knowledge, but I'll, I can certainly do uh, that. But mm -hmm. hopefully coming, that'll be coming to us in the future. And I'll just jump in with the next one, which is the um, recognition of the community volunteer. We, you remember we started this back in November. Right, right. So for this month's meeting, we chose um, Dan Hawk from the Merrimack Flower Shop. Um, Dan 
um, and his staff decorate the bandstand for us every year for Christmas. Yeah, you know, that's with awesome. With the balls and the garland and yeah. all that. And he does it every year, obviously does it for free, you know. Yeah. Mm -hmm. um, so we just wanted to, he couldn't make it tonight. Okay. Um, but we just wanted to kind of publicly recognize Absolutely. him. I have already sent him a certificate. Oh, thank um, you. Yeah. From, you know, from the town. Um, but just, again, wanted to publicly comment on it. He does fantastic. a lot of other things, does. too. Yeah. Oh, yeah, yeah they're awesome. amazing. Yeah. Okay, next on our new business, the event proposal from Thornton's Ferry PTTF. <laughs> Welcome. Hi, how thanks. are you? Fine, thanks. I see the t-shirt. This t-shirt. <laughs> <laughs> Trying to represent the school. Okay, I do have here um, one for each. Hopefully Thank you so much. Should be enough. Can you I want to tell them just in case they don't know what your other hat is? Oh, um, so I'm on the parent, I'm the uh, president of the parent board at Thornton's Ferry School here in Merrimack, and I am also the part time secretary of Parks and Recreation. You're her. Oh. Hi, that's me. <laughs> Can you please oh give us your, state your name? <laughs> uh, my name's Jan Cruz. Um, nice but to see you. I am here um, as the representing um, Thornton's Ferry School and also Master Cola Elementary that um, will be hosting this event that we are proposing. Oh, nice. I'm just going to lay this out for props purposes. <laughs> <laughs> A little color for everybody. Throw that at us. <laughs> Not in here, but if you come join us, I might. Okay, I have a speech because I'm a little nervous. You'll be, you'll be fine. <laughs> Dear committee members, thank you for taking the time to meet with me. My name is Gianna Cruz and I am the president of Thorns Ferry School's Parent Executive Board, PTTF. I am here along with other parents in the executive board um, representing both Thorns Ferry and Master Cola Elementary School. Uh, we are here to propose the use of Wasserman Park for a fundraising event that involves two elementary schools in the Merrimack community. Every year, both schools work individually to host their own fitness fundraisers, however, have recently seen a decline in student and family participation and fundraising campaigns. In an effort to gain interest in a family fitness outreach while raising necessary funds to provide financial support um, for initiatives to enrich the learning experience for the students at the school, um, we would, both schools will be working together to host a color fund a one-mile fun run at Wasserman Park on Friday, June 3rd for, our school com for both of our school communities, uh, rain or shine. We are hoping this newer style of fun runs will encourage families to enjoy a little fitness in the great outdoors here in town. Next. While the primary goal of this event is to raise the necessary funds our uh, respective schools need, our secondary goal is to bring the families in both Merrimack Elementary Schools together and provide a community-wide event as students from both schools will eventually move on to a larger school community, community at the upper elementary school. This would be a great time to integrate both communities early on. Unfortunately, Reeds Ferry Elementary is in the northernmost point in town, and this event would make it a little bit more difficult for their community to participate during the event's um, time frame. So what is a color run, you might ask? It is a run, walk, jog, dancing race course where participants will get uh, showered in safe, eco-friendly, plant-based powdered dye at every zone, four zones to be exact, turning them into a moving, colorful target of fun. Yeah. Is this color dye safe? The dye is made of colored cornstarch and is designed to be 100% washable. Its ingredients is simply cornstarch, with FDNC or DNC colors, um, which are colors that are used in uh, foods, cosmetics, and our drugs. These products are not consider considered hazardous. The color powder is also routinely tested for quality, flammability, and passed the required standards testings in the United States. Color powder dust is not harmful to wildlife or vegetation. Um, well, there would be a lot of colored powder around the park, so how do you clean it up, right? The color powder dust is pretty easy to blow off and wash out. The color powder is pretty easy to blow, uh, or a committee plans to have a color dust blowing station where there will be adult volunteers set up to blow the excess colors off, off of participants using a leaf blower on the lowest setting. Hopefully not on the <laughs> highest. <laughs> leaf blowers will also be used to blow excess color dust off of the trail route to, to prevent the color dust from being tracked into buildings. Depending on electrical outlet availability, color mounds will also be picked up with a shop vac. We also plan to lay out tarps underneath the four color blast stations for easier color powder dust pickup. 
crowd control. We will be hiring the services of the Merrimack Police Department for a four-hour detail coverage at the park to assist with the traffic control and promote police presence in a large-scale event where students in the Merrimack community will be participating. Due to the large volume of attendees that we hope will be coming, safety in our events is our main priority. Thorin's Ferry regularly hires the Merrimack Police Department in our events that are held outside of school hours, and this, is especially, and this especially would be one of those important events. Besides having a police presence at the park, assisting with traffic control, monitoring the cars going in and out of the park, um, the police would also be monitoring the speed limits along the park roads um, for a safer walk with the kids, with the students. We are asking the board, uh, the committee, for, to use the Wasserman Park for our event. However, at this time, have not yet finalized a one-mile route, but we are planning on using the entire park. From the top parking lot for families to park to the main park area with the open field and playground down to the waterfront area to use for our route, we are hoping to cover a one-mile course at Wasserman Park. This one-mile course will be tailored towards children from preschool to fourth grades. Those are the students that we have at both of our schools. We will also need the use of electrical outlets for our DJ and music station located outside of the function hall. Currently, we do not see the need of the use um, of the function of inside of the function hall, but should we need the use of it, we will submit another request to use the facility. We hope to have a finalized course map as well as other necessary details submitted to the Director of Parks and Recreation as well as the Park and Recreation Committee for further review should there be a need in any of our updates. Both Thornton's Ferry and Master Cola Elementary Schools would like to thank you for your time tonight and your consideration with the use of Washington Park for our event. We hope you consider joining us either by volunteering at a station, promoting the event, well, donating to our fundraiser campaign, or simply joining us for a little color run on June 3rd. Thank you so much. So basically, well I thank you, well thank done. you. Ooh, now I can breathe. <laughs> So basically what I have um, handed out is everything that I had said but in one page. Mm -hmm. um, it gives you guys the breakdown, so if you have any other questions, my contact information is um, at the bottom as well. Um, and a quickly drafted map of the back is what um, is the first draft, basically. We haven't really reviewed it. There's still snow on the ground, so it's hard for us to kind of make sure that it's a walkable route, that there's no poison ivy. Um, and that it's safe for the kids that there's no, um, you know, stumps mm -hmm. present or anything like that. Um, <laughs> so within this one mile route, every quarter of the mile, we would host the four color stations. And we are hoping to end it at the baseball field in the middle with that stop sign. Mm -hmm. And at the end of the race, um, we will have five waves. At the end of the fifth wave, we would have all the participants that are still at the park um, come gather at the center and have a little, you know, three minute party with a song. Um, they get to open up their color packets and throw it in the air, and we get our little picture there. <laughs> and then um, we tell them thank you for joining us and then have them out the park by 545. I mean, slowly yet surely safely out of the park by 545. <laughs> um, after the last wave, which um, we are looking at starting at 450 p.m., would be our round of cleanup volunteers following the last people on that wave. So our cleanup starts right after the last wave. Um, so that gives us about two hours of cleanup time. Um, we're chasing the sunset, so hopefully it's still bright at 7 o'clock, or else I might ask my Eagle Scout candidate to, <laughs> to provide lights for the entire course. Um, so it, it's basically a pretty large fundraiser um, for both our schools. Um, we decided to make this a little bit different. Usually what we have is, you know, you do a couple laps around the gym, Parents no longer want to donate because it's, cause, you know, it's such a boring fundraiser. So we figured if we can get something where not only the kids are excited, but also the parents would, who love to run. I mean, we have, you know, 5Ks around town, but um, you might not be able to get your preschooler to do a 3.1 miler. So we, do, we did just a one mile and um, using all of the hills at the park. I was going to say the hills. Yeah. <laughs> Um, and, you know, it's not like we're going to follow them and tell them, oh, you didn't, you know, you cut through and you didn't finish this, so you have to go again. It's, <laughs> it's, it's for fun. It's, they can stay at the color station as long as they want. They can do another lap if they want. Um, but the last wave of um, students and families would be allowed by 450, just because we'd want everybody out and about. 
Anybody Excellent. have questions for me? What a novel idea. I love it. <laughs> I yeah. hope to see you on the course then. <laughs> oh, I'll be there. I love throwing stuff. <laughs> oh, that would be great. We do need volunteers for that. Where where did you get such a novel idea? I mean, is, is so this is actually um, in the last awesome. few years. I actually joined a color race up in Loudon, okay. and these were the freebies that came with my registration. There I didn't want to use them because they were so pretty. <laughs> but um, this is what the students will be getting. They'll be getting a free T-shirt when they register, and um, they do their fundraising between both schools. They'll receive one of the color packets, a T-shirt, and a bag. Um, unfortunately, at the moment, because we want to make sure that it's a safer event for just the school community. We're not really opening it up to, hey, Merrimack, contact okay. Thornton's Ferry School or Master Cola. We're m more of like, you know, oh, you're a student at Master Cola. Here's my mom. Come and join us. Sure. Things like that. Mm -hmm. um, I'm hoping to maybe propose this for a Parks and Rec event at some point. Mm -hmm. But for now, it's just for both Master Cola and Thornton's Ferry. Do you yep. Have you approached Reeds and? I did. So um, this plan came last summer. Um, I had sent an email before the parent boards were doing our calendars for the year. I had sent out an email to both Master Cola and Reeds. Um, I did hear back from Master Cola. Did not hear back from Reeds. And before this meeting um, earlier this month, I had actually sent out another request to read to the um, parent president at reads I'm not sure if the email didn't get sent through um, and I don't and I don't know anybody in that school community okay. zone but in it, and it's not too late if you know somebody there it's not too late for them to join us it is the first planning hmm. stages and I think if we make it into a three elementary school it would be fun I, I love the idea and it sounds like you're not opposed and I'm sure we can help make those connections and maybe okay that would be perfect well. it, it has and then um, when we the, when the general coordinators did meet we were kind of like well do you know somebody at Reeds and we're like you know what's you're with your school community it's right. kind of right. hard right. if you don't know them so if you know somebody sure my I contact information is at the bottom because <laughs> I think it would be great like I said, once they get to fifth grade, they're all going to be in the same school. Right. So might as well start now. Gotcha. Mm -hmm. they're, they're together in sports. Why not for this end of the school event? So that's kind of what it is. It's, we're hoping we have no snow day, so school lets out two weeks after this. Right. right. But it's kind of, you know, the kids are done. Do you anticipate any kind of a sign-up or just go? Um, so the packets will be sent home to the students in April. Okay. First week, about first or second week of April. Mm -hmm. And this packet includes their fundraising goals. So they can oh. ask mom, dad to Sponsor fundraise and things like that. Okay. So, right. Um, so if you have some kids knocking on your door, you'll know why. <laughs> um, but, yes, that's when it okay. will be. And then it will be posted on both of the school's website. If we get Reed's Ferry, it will be posted mm -hmm. there as well. Um, and then we'll, the coordinators will be holding meetings just to regroup, make sure that, you know, it's not just Thornton's Ferry making the decisions. It's not just Master Cola making the decision. So it's kind of a group effort. Um, and I think um, our subcommittees are, is included for both schools. So both schools are in charge of at least something. Great. I mean, it's, it's a big workload, as you can tell. It's trying to get everybody in. There's 850 kids between both schools, so. And with another 500 at Reed's Ferry. Only 1,300. <laughs> fundraising um, we have chosen to split the fundraising profits um, 50 in half. 50 in half and so certainly if we joined us it's you know one third to each school instead of really being very picky oh our school raised more you know this oh, is yeah, a competition yeah. right, right. it's, it's a fun event it, yeah. it's strictly to just split profits 50 50 right Okay, so what she had said is um, we had agreed when we met that the fundraising efforts for both schools, um, any income would be split 50-50, um, and that includes we will have Kona Ice as well, you know, serving nice refreshments for the kids. Um, any expenses will be split 50-50 between both schools, so the charge for police detail um, will be split. Um, both the treasurers from both schools will keep track of that, keep tally of income and expenses and then at the end of the event we will go ahead and distribute evenly so if we have Reed's Ferry come and join us then we will split that in three ways and I think you know like she said um, it's better if we do it as a community versus well our school raised X amount and you guys only raised X amount so thank you that's yep. awesome <laughs> now with the dust nature of the um, of the, the of color the 
is there what are the risks for like inhalation or in your eyes right so um most what is recommended actually and this is what's going to be told to the volunteers that that they like to throw the dust at people (laughs) is that um you do it from the chest down and it's with Dixie cups, so it's and oh. they're the mini mouthwash Dixie Minimal, cups. Yeah. So it's just out in the air. Um, some of the kids will be if they earn a specific incentive price point that they'll get sunglasses or you know clear sunglasses to kind of cover their eyes. Um, it's also recommended for people who have like asthma to wear a handkerchief mm-hmm. over their um, nose and mouth. Um, we will also have the um, course wide enough, so if you would like to get drenched in the powder, then you're closer. You know, you'll have like the running aisle or the walkers lane, um, so it's not too. Oh, right. So for st- students that do have asthma or inhalation problems, and they would go into, they would still get some color, but it wouldn't be into their face. Um, well, now, did you say the kids will be throwing it too? Or no, it, it will be only the adults. adults. Yeah. Okay, good. <laughs> <laughs> only <Yeah>. adults. <laughs> yep. Did you have a question? No, oh, okay. I don't. Thank you. I'll just point out real quick. Yeah, I actually please. talked to um, Claremont, New Hampshire Recreation today, and they actually run an event like this. Oh, every, no kidding. Awesome. Every year, and they get 100, 150 people yeah. at their event every year. Yeah, with the TV. Yes. And so very successful. But one of the things they told me was, because my question was, how you know, aside from – leaf blowing it off right what about what's left in the park that doesn't get leaf blown and they said as soon as it rains it pretty much i was yeah, yeah. 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 I I pretty so. and it's okay right and, yeah. Yeah. and unless and the kids that want to actually preserve the color on their shirts so their t-shirts are white um the parents would be asked to just spritz a little vinegar let it air dry and then the color would stay on that shirt okay. oh. but it's not like we're going to be spritzing vinegar around the park for the color <laughs> to stay i hope not but it's cheap um, enough. Yeah. But it, it, it would be easily washed off. Mother Nature will take its course, and it's either the wind will just blow it away or, like, water run off. Yeah. Who, who is going to be actually in – is this um, the ki- just kids who want to sign up for it? It's not everybody. Correct. So it is just the kids that are starting the fundraising efforts. And then um, in this program that we have set up, if they raise an X amount, they can include um, a parent, a friend, or family member that doesn't go to Thornton's Ferry or Master Cola to be part of their group. So then they too can join into the race. Um, So if a student has an older sibling, let's say in the middle school, um, that wants to join if they raise $60 because the first level is 30. So if they raise 60, then it could be that child and then you know, the sibling or the parent or the grandparent or the neighbor. Exactly. So you'll have some sort of idea. I'm sorry, Sandra. Some uh, idea of how many you'll have. Correct. Um, Both uh, general coordinators will be keeping track of each, and then we'll have, like, a roster of who will be there and things like that. Go ahead, Sam. Sorry. Um, Will there be any mixers afterwards, like, at the end of the? Yes. So that's um, what we call call the color dust party at the end, is (laughs) at the end we'll have a DJ, hopefully a volunteer DJ, since this is expensive, that would just be playing music for the kids. You know, a high school DJ maybe, or a parent who just has a sound system that wants to play. We'll play a pop music that the kids know, have them um, throw some color dust in the air. And um, we'll also be selling extra merchandise and um, concessions. Okay. Something easy, something you just, oh, you're oh, hungry, yeah. you pick up and you eat. Um, also to note, we will have water stations. It is June, so we don't know the weather. But should it be hot, um, we will have water stations along the route just in case. Okay, Maureen, did you have a uh, question? You, how about a radio station? I could. We could look at. I don't. You know, I don't have any hookups. <laughs> you, know, you just. I, I think you would just call them and ask them. You're having this fundraiser and. Get the mill in because they've come to our. Event. They will. They, okay. Yeah. Just that way. You know, you know, they do it for free and they get their advertisement. That's too. true. I, I mean, it's the mill. Sorry. Yeah. Absolutely. In fact, um, there's a famous weatherman. Mr. Scrupa. <laughs> yes, there <laughs> is. Maybe he. Whose can. son goes to Reed's Ferry, where so I. So we might have to get Reed's where, Ferry. Where in. I work. Okay. <laughs> there you. Oh, so that's as a, why. As a Title One teacher, but I. So it wouldn't I, be hard to get Reed's Ferry in to I, uh, come join I, us. Because I don't know why they didn't respond to you, so I will further investigate that. And my husband had worked there for about almost yeah. twenty years, so yeah. he's okay. very familiar with the, the staff group there. Okay, yeah. that would be good. <laughs> that would be good. Find out. 
Yeah, yeah. let me know. I mean, uh, um, no, no, yeah, we won't be, I mean, we'll start spreading the word because just to get the hype in. Sure. Um, but as far as um, flyers and notifications to the school community, we won't be sending that out until April. Okay. But there are still more things to plan before then. Um, <laughs> any other comments? Because like personally, I'm just thrilled that Wasserman is getting used. Yeah. You know, oh, yeah. It, it's, it's what it needs to be because <laughs> at, the, at these meetings for years, we had nobody yeah. <laughs> sitting here. We couldn't get quorums. And right. Things, so it's refreshing and that's fun. I do think it would be fun in the winter, but. <laughs> it would. Well, oh, I don't know about running in the winter, but maybe I don't know. Yeah, maybe else. the winter carnival. Then you got a <laughs> shovel, <you gotta> shovel <laughs> pass. <laughs> yeah, there you go. Yeah, but the color. <laughs> no, I, know. Snow. Snow. I think that's awesome. Yeah. Yeah. I think it's a great idea. Yeah. Gotta make a motion. Anybody want to make a motion to accept Jan's wonderful, colorful? Huh. I'll Fun make way. a motion. Okay, it has Rick. Something to do with exercise. I'm all for it. There, <laughs> there you go. I'll second. All righty, Jackie. Did she got it? I got it. <laughs> and Jackie. Okay. All right. All those in favor of accepting the PTTF fundraiser event proposal and with MES and hopefully yep. the rest and of reads. the crew. Thank you and so maybe much. Maybe Yes, yeah. hopefully. Yeah. Thank you for coming. No, Thank you. It's nice to meet you face to face. Thank you. Yeah. And I'm happy to reach out um, to the PSA if, person. If you don't mind, I mean, I I can always, I, I mean, when I had sent them that email, I just forwarded again that email so they knew that it was from then that I had tried contacting them but still haven't heard, so. Okay, I'll reach out to them and then I'll, I'll circle back with yeah. you. Okay, perfect. Yeah. Thank you so much. Thank, Thank you, awesome. guys. Yeah, well, thanks well, for coming out. Thank, Thank you. you. That's awesome. <laughs> you can Come on up, Jacob. Sorry that yep. took so long to get. Yeah. To you. But it was interesting, wasn't it? <laughs> well, welcome, Jacob. Nice to see you. Happy New Year. Thank you. Good to see you, too. So. You're welcome. Yeah, he's in the back. Sorry, thank you. Poor guy's not sitting through the This is old business, isn't it? Jacob, old business. He went right by him. We should have moved him up here. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I'm going to go over there. I'll get you to come back. Thank you. For sure. I think it's amazing. <laughs> it, Sorry, so this is just the. Yeah, I hadn't gone by until That's not today. actually it. Yeah. <laughs> I did it the whole day. So I was back here in October, November ish. I can't remember actually when. Mm -hmm. Oh, no worries. Um, yeah, so this, was, this is my project. This is pre build, so kind of a 3D image of it. I built, sorry, an archery deck in Wasserman Park um, in November. And so. Sorry, just a second. So this is just a, a quick slideshow. This is what it looked like, yeah, what yeah. we thought it would look like. Um, and this is um, the build day. So nice. those are the posts. We put the posts in. And we have joists and decking going on. It's the finished decking. Yeah. And the rafters. Beautiful. Must be nice to watch that video after <laughs> all your <laughs> Yeah, yeah. yeah. So and this is the finished project, mm -hmm. kind of in comparison to what it looked like we thought yeah. it might look like. Yeah. Perfect. So. It's a perfect spot for it, too. Mm -hmm. So, yes. Yeah. Congratulations. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, Ta -da -da -da. oh, it's a wonderful addition to the town and the park. Oh, Absolutely. You. It's my pleasure to be there. I bet you learned a lot. From the Definitely. <laughs> <laughs> a lot about building that yeah. I didn't know before. Um, <laughs> some things I learned the hard way. <laughs> Actually, no. So, I think I attribute this to God, but <laughs> <laughs> absolutely, <laughs> we dug. We had dug all ten of the holes by hand, and we didn't hit any really big rocks. Oh, so it was really amazing! <laughs> That's lucky. Miracle. That's lucky. But <laughs> what? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> it was a hard work, but it was good. Yeah. Can you just remind me about which troop you're from again? Jacob? Forty-eight. Forty-eight, Sorry. which mm -hmm. is out of is Mer it Merrimack. Yeah, it's Merrimack, and it includes also some other towns like Mont Vernon. Right. Right. Yeah, stuff, I just but. need a refresher. How many? We're able to help you with the project. It looks like you can a good yeah, turnout. Yeah, so yeah, I, it took five days to build it, not right. whole days, but it was spread over, spread over five days. The first day there were three of us, 
to dig holes. And the, se <laughs> the second day, there was about 25 people. That oh, was the big day. <laughs> that's a, that's a big step. And then there were three more days to finish up, and there were about four Great. or five people there. So. Wonderful. Yeah. Rick, Jake, has I'm a question? Jake, I'm curious. What was your biggest fundraiser? I know you had mentioned something about a spaghetti dinner, I think, way back when. Yeah, it was actually a soup and salad. Okay. So um, it was a yeah, I, was, I think it was a great success. We earned about uh, twelve fifty, can't remember twelve hundred dollars. Really, so it was a great wow. blessing. Mm -hmm. uh, there was online advertising, was and thank salad. you to Parks and Rec for yeah. putting it on your Facebook page. Oh, good, um, good, good that good, helped. Good, good. And, and where so was that? Where did you hold that again? It was at one ten Concord Street in Nashua at okay. our church building. Yes, nice. So, good. Yeah, the Church of Jesus Christ of Latter Saints. Yeah. Um, and yeah, Excellent. it was it was a blessing. I got, got the soups and salads donated from several different. Um, restaurants oh. around oh. the town. So. That's very Great. good. Wow, you've That's learned a lot, I bet. No, for sure. Invaluable. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Mm -hmm. Well, congratulations. Uh, communication and leadership congratulations. skills. So. And just in terms of timing, he went from us to the town council, I think the next week. Yep. Oh, no His kidding. His fundraiser was the following week. And we kind of talked was, about, is this the <laughs> right time? Really? <laughs> and and I, I hadn't been over to the park in like a week and a half, and all of a sudden I come over, and it went from nothing to done. I'm like, yeah. <laughs> Whoa. <laughs> it, it happened quick. Uh, yeah. Yes, so yes. It, it really we, made, so. we beat the snow, so I was Yeah, yeah. Well, well, congratulations. Yeah, that's divine, much, divine so. intervention, I think. <laughs> For sure. Yeah, Good. there were amazing, Good. amazing miracles. So. Next project? <laughs> oh, I don't think I'll do another one. <laughs> uh, what are you still in high school, Jacob? Yep, I'm what? a senior. A senior. Yep. Congratulations. You've got enough to do, I bet. <laughs> <laughs> For sure. I'm glad I got it done. <laughs> Good. Well, congratulations. That's a biggie Good in those job. junior Thank seniors. You. And, and I do have a, a certificate oh, for Jacob. Oh, thank uh, you, Matt. <laughs> for his efforts. And Can we get the lights? Yeah. Yes. Yeah. Great. Thank yes. you. Uh, <laughs> Wrong way. Wrong way. And, oh. uh, Get one with his mom. Perfect. Thank you. There you go. Good job. One more just for you. <laughs> Thank you, Chris. There we go. Perfect. Yeah. You're welcome. Thank you again. Thank you. Congratulations. Thank you. That would be great. We've already had people asking about it. And, oh, can the public use it? Sure. Oh, come on over. Okay, so. great. <laughs> um, and if you can send it. Yes, I can. I have still here. You um, is, is Do you need a f formal motion, do you think? I mean, to no. present to your group? or Okay. She's Other question. Is there a plaque on there with your name? Not yet. Yeah. Okay, not yet. <laughs> okay. Like Something. Yeah. yeah. Well, no, we're we not going to scratch it. Joseph. He did a, yes, uh, I remember a Joseph. Pergola over there in Watson. Watson, Watson Park. Watson, Watson Park. Yeah. Yes, I remember. Yeah, the city actually put the. Okay. Well, there we'll we go. Yeah. We'll thank you. That's yeah. great. Great. Thank yeah. you. Yeah. 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 Thank you. Any more boys coming? No, but you know what? Our other son did one in. Um, Hurst Hill Nature Preserve. Yes, I remember. Bridge. Good for you. And Aww. we still need to get a little plaque. I think it'd be kind of fun, just for the Boy Scouts. No, yeah. 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 We think Boy Scouts need more publicity. Well, yeah, absolutely. yeah, absolutely. Well, you did it by yourselves. <laughs> well, congratulations to all of you, and good luck next year, whatever your adventures are. Thank you. Yeah, you must be in the middle of that already. <laughs> Great. Have a good night. Thanks for coming out. Wow. We're so fortunate to have Boy Scouts, aren't we? I mean, I've done some nice projects. Yeah, for us. Yeah, we really have. Does uh, it need to be stained or anything, or is it all pressure treated wood? Uh, it's it all pressure treated. It looks, okay. um, oh, it's fabulous, yeah. And it, you know, it is, it, th that project started as something we were going to try and do in house, and we've been talking about it for like a year and a half, and mm -hmm. I just could never find the time for my summer maintenance kids to <laughs> do it. Right. And they wouldn't. And never, and it certainly wouldn't have been that elaborate that as this. So it would have been yeah. basically just a deck, not yeah. the roof. And <laughs> So that was yeah, that was a great. Scouts, we need to be fully aware now. Yeah. Yes. Yeah. Yeah. Oh. A uh, oh. eagle award the other night, the other day on a Sunday, and half of St. James Church was full of Boy Scouts. Mm -hmm. Wow. Full. I mean, there were a couple hundred people in there. Mm -hmm. yeah. Supporting each other. Sure. Right. But yeah. I think with Matt helping to bring it on. Yes, I was a little impatient by the angle. Okay, Absolutely. friends of the dog park, old business. <laughs> <laughs> Not too old. No. Yeah. All good. Well, it, it's slow, obviously, because of the winter time, but we've been uh, busy. We've received some donations coming in, approximately $900, um, broken That's a out. Lot. 
great. Actually, it's kind of 1100 but I have another one that came in as well. So that's good. So we had Ian Ives of Bush for a sponsorship of $750. Uh, Chris Christensen, $150 donated. Um, Pets Choice, a, our local oh, yeah. animal place for food and toys and all that fun stuff, hosted a pet portrait day again. Oh, yeah. Over the holidays, and they donated two hundred and twenty dollars from CJ. Mm -hmm. So that was fantastic. That just came in. Um, so we've been uh, doing good. We're slowly um, increasing our amount. We're just I don't know. It must be about fifty four thousand, fifty three five hundred approximately. Mm -hmm. Rough math there, and um, very little expenses right now. So I think the, it was PayPal was our expense. So that's yeah. pretty good. So we're going to be helping Chris at the helping me. Chris is helping Matt at the Winter Carnival. Um, so we'll be doing a Chinese raffle as well as um, selling bricks for the walkway into the first enclosure into the dog park mm -hmm. as well as the entrances. So that's going to be another fundraiser coming up. Oh, in addition, I forgot to mention. Um, Daniel Webster Animal Hospital donated the bins that actually house the poop bags oh, for each section. <laughs> so those are on their way. So and I think that's pretty exciting. <laughs> Look at that. You never thought you'd talk about poop and be happy, huh? <laughs> <laughs> uh, yeah, right? <laughs> when does poop talk ever make anybody smile? <laughs> so, <laughs> so at the Winter Carnival, I know. <laughs> Levity. <laughs> what are we going to do? Yeah. At the Winter Carnival, we're hoping, um, thanks to Pets Choice, one of their um, workers is also um, does dog competitions and agility, and she's going to put on a little demonstration, weather printing, footing permitting, and she's working out with Matt um, oh. for location and stuff like that. So hopefully we'll get a run dog, run, have a couple runs in and let everybody see what that's Thanks. about. And I think that's it. I mean, eventually we're going to have uh, another restaurant fundraiser coming up. We don't have one picked out yet. A um, lot of ideas, nothing solidified yet. So maybe in the next month or so. And I think um, that's about it mm. good for work. now. Good work. Thank you. You're welcome. Good job. And some updates on the disc golf? Sure. Um, so the disc golf group is finally getting moving with their fundraising oh, okay. activities. They're in the process of, of setting up a, a basically a crowdfunding site. They're using Indiegogo. Which I'd never heard of, but What's, how do you spell that? Indiegogo. I N D I G O G O. Indiegogo. Uh, it's like it sounds, uh, but it's like you know a lot of the other crowdfunding kind Is of it? platforms, mm -hmm. and basically will allow them to either you know somebody could sponsor a hole, put a name on a plaque. They're actually looking at commemorative discs um, yeah. as a as a something that somebody can buy. Um, but their their plan realistically is, and I guess they've already got some people willing to kind of step up already um, once it gets up and running. But they're hoping to have kind of the tee pads and the baskets by spring, which would just leave the actual – there's some uh, brush clearing and that kind of stuff that has to be done on some of the, the proposed holes. So mm -hmm. um, that will be a spring project sure. probably sure. a couple of weekends, one weekend or a couple of weekends. Yep. Um, they did set up a new Facebook page that just went up today, um, which is – you can search for it by looking at Wasserman Park Disc Golf. Simple enough. I would presume that because once the park goes live, it becomes a town amenity, you know, and fall under our jurisdiction. So I would probably then take over that page and manage it, you know, going forward. Um, they are going to be set up at the Winter Carnival oh, um, with information, and theoretically they'll have all their their, their funders and stuff ready to, to present um, at that. But they're they're uh, we're we're on track at this point. That sounds awesome. Excellent. And you're next, Matt, I'm next with again. the revolving fund draft. So uh, I sent this out the other day, sure and, and uh, if you yep. put these out, um, we talked about the revolving fund probably I don't know, six months ago. Yep. Um, we finally <laughs> have a draft that's been kind of vetted by the finance department, and and which is part of what I've been waiting on which just kind of dictates how we're going to spend money, you know, okay. and, and how we're going to track money and, and that kind of thing. It's based on the model that other towns have used that already have this fund in place. Okay. Um, basically, just for those that maybe not had weren't here or anybody that actually watches at home, um, the way a 
in a normal budget for Parks and Rec. I submit a program, my budget proposal to the town in October, November. Um, town manager weighs in, makes recommendations. The town council weighs in, makes a, you know, makes a decision about what the budget's going to be. That budget that's submitted, say, this past October, covers July of 2016 through June of 2017. So you're really planning a year and a half in advance of going, okay, what program are we going to run a year and a half from now? And that gets a little tricky to do. Mm -hmm. Allow you to be very responsive to changing needs. And the example I'll use is, you know, last summer camp ended and there was, I think, three and a half weeks before school started. And we had parents calling us saying, hey, do you have something for my kids because I need child care and, you know, those types of things. And I had staff available, I had facility available, but I didn't have a budget available, so I couldn't add, oh, you know. right, right. Because um, right now what happens is basically taxpayers kind of pre-fund us, and then when the revenue comes in from the program, it goes back to the general fund, and, you know, programs are designed to be off um, self-supporting anyway, so taxpayers are basically kind of fronting the money, and then we pay them back. Um, what the revolving fund does is it basically takes the taxpayers out of the loop. Um, and so in this case, um, we would still um, present an initial budget in the fall, you know, as we do now, and say, okay, this is what I'm expecting to run this next year. Um, but then throughout the year, if other programs come up and say, um, I suddenly want to add my own color run or, you know, whatever it happens to be, um, the process will be I'll bring a proposal to this group for a review and you'll look at it and go, yeah, that sounds like a great program. Let's start it. It'll go to the council. But now I can do it basically monthly. I can add new programs instead of a year and a half in advance. Um, for me, the, there, there's two benefits here. One for taxpayers is we're essentially redu would be reducing our current taxpayer-funded budget by $228,000 that we would now not be asking for because all of our existing programs would move over to this new fund. But for me... Instead of the money going back to the general fund at the end of the year, it stays in my account so that I can keep working and keep adding new programs. Um, and so, really, and, and uh, you know, for this year, for example, with the budget, I added in, I had a proposal for basically um, five new summer programs a theater camp, a teen camps, um, some environmental education programs, and, but then I had also proposed an after school program and school vacation week programs. And the summer programs basically were approved by the town manager and they cut out the school year based programs. And so that's our budget going forward for the next year and a half. But if I have the revolving fund, I could potentially still add those things in next year. Um, and the main reason I think that it was, those were taken out is because it was, you know, like an after school program, I would need about $60,000 by itself to add it to my budget. And that's a big jump for one line item in a budget, you know. Um, so, like I said, it, it makes, um, allows us to be a lot more responsive to to um, to the public and continuing to grow and, and you know, those types of things. Um, let's see. Um, so, like I said, the, what's in front of you is basically, like I said, we'll have a, here's what I'm expecting for the year, and then as stuff comes up throughout the year, um, we, we just add it as we go, and we're not kind of locked into that next year and a half without, you know, because, okay, now, you know. So. Um, that, so that is the revolving fund and kind of how it goes at this point. Um, I am scheduled to be on the council's agenda next Thursday, the 28th. They had to hold, do it separately from our department budget because it has to be a public hearing, assuming they agree to it, which it sounds like they will. Um, then it has to go to the ballot in April. And we've been trying to do, um, in the next two months, we're going to be offering several um, kind of what is the re recreation revolving fund and why do you need it and and um, hopefully get people to come out and see so that when they see it on the ballot, they say, oh, yeah, that makes sense, yeah. you know. Mm -hmm. um, and, then the voters guide and, and then the voter's guide and that kind of thing. So um, that is where we are on that, on the revolving fund at this point. Any questions about it? Good job. Yeah. Looks okay. good. Sounds, good. Sounds interesting. Um, I'm up to my budget again. <laughs> <laughs> All right. So um, 
our, I was before the council on January 7th, which was interesting because I was away at a conference and had to come back just for that meeting, but that's okay. Uh, but was joined by Chris Christensen, um, and overall the council seemed very happy with where we're going. Um, excited to see lots of new activities, you know, so we're, we're in good shape there. I had a couple, of, a couple of the council members have come up to me since that meeting and said, oh, great job, and like what you're doing, and all that good stuff. So we're happy there. Um, there are two changes from what I, when we reviewed the budget at this meeting, and I can't remember if that was October or November, but um, the first one we had put in funding for a part-time year-round maintenance person since we're starting to do all this work at Wasserman and wouldn't it be nice to upkeep the facilities we have. Um, we had 20, it was basically based on 20 hours a week for year-round. Um, that, the, the position is there. The dollar amount was reduced basically down to 36 hours for the year, um, which, and the just from the town manager's office. The justification was we have no idea how many rentals you're going to get, so we don't want to, you know, we don't want to pay for somebody if there's not much to do until we see how busy the building's going to be. Um, Chris spoke up at the town council meeting, um, and so did Dan Dwyer. Um, so there's a chance that some or all of that might get restored by the council because they have the final say on it, and so we'll wait to see. But obviously, if they don't, we'll have to rethink our rental policies in terms of staffing the events, and because obviously, mm -hmm. 36 hours allows me, you know, <coughs> once, <laughs> you know, one one hour or two hours a week for nine weeks or something, which doesn't get me a whole lot. Um, the other change, which is just a minor one, we had put in a request to increase the 4th of July budget by $10,000. And the idea was $5,000 more for fireworks, $5,000 more for additional bands, and because marching bands aren't cheap. Um, some of the, one band alone can be two, three, four thousand dollars $4,000 for, for the big marching bands. So um, the town manager's office um, changed it, to, in her recommendation, changed it to $5,000 increase. So the plan is, if that number holds, then we'd put it towards fireworks. Um, or primarily towards fireworks um, and you know, based on one <laughs> zip done. <laughs> yeah. So, so and expensive. hopefully get a better showing because they apparently it came out that the fireworks budget hasn't <coughs> increased in like 15 years. So you know we're not really keeping up with inflation and you know, that mm. kind of stuff. So um, council, I think, I think it's either next week or the week after when they finalize their recommendations. So we'll just wait and see how that all plays out. And we'll go from there. Um, but that's it on the budget. Um, camp registration opened up last Monday, the 11th. Wow. Uh, we now have online registration and the ability to pay by credit cards. Yeah. Um, we've had a run into a few minor glitches with software that couldn't quite do exactly what we needed it to, but they've been we've been kind of tweaking things to make it work. And um, you know, when we were looking at software a year ago, it was kind of like, well, do we, if there's camp specific software that does everything we needed to do for camp but didn't work so well on the non-camp things. And then there's the general recreation management software that does all the general things really well and doesn't get some of the tweaks that, that you need for camp. And so we went with the general because it covers more things theoretically. But uh, overall, we've been happy and, and uh, haven't had any major issues with it. We've actually already had, in the last week and a half, we've already picked up 30, 32 registrations. Wow. Wow, that's um, which I think is planning. probably yeah. almost double last year yeah. at this yeah. point um, for a week and a half. Um, we are hiring for all camp positions at this point, We're, although it looks like probably 85, 90% of my staff will be returning from, oh, from, from last summer. My biggest concern right now is still the camp director. We've interviewed a couple <laughs> of people and haven't quite found the right candidate yet. Um, we got a little bit of time before I have to really panic, but um, we're um, going there. So, but uh, anybody that happens to be watching at home, if you're interested in summer jobs, they're all on our website or on the town website, or you can call us and we can tell you what we're looking for. But more or less, I've got positions open everywhere. Um, Wasserman Park improvements. We had originally hoped that the contractor that was going to do the water line, originally we were told it was going to start just after Christmas. That didn't happen. Then it was the next week, then the next week, and then supposedly they were going to start yesterday or today. <coughs> and I went out there this afternoon, and he wasn't there. So 
Not today. Not today. <laughs> um, obviously, getting concerned about the winter and the hard frost, and and you know, I think the snowstorm this weekend is going to miss us. Yep. So at least we don't have to, that to worry about. But has to. We had hoped that <laughs> we'd have everything up and running by the winter carnival. So one, so I don't have to rent porta potties, which are a couple hundred dollars for that one day event. Uh, but also, just having heat in the building makes it so much nicer, mm -hmm. especially if you get a day like today. Right. Um, so we wait and see on that. Y you know, once he starts, it only should only take him a week to do it. <laughs> um, and then the heating system, the stuff has already been um, purchased for the the heating system. Awesome. So again, a week, ten <laughs> days for him to. So theoretically, we still have time, but it just it really hinges on the water line. Um, so we'll wait and see. Um, Hollard Parade and tree lighting was back on December 6th. Overall went really well. We had an estimated 600 people out here at the tree lighting. We had one issue which was sound equipment. Um, we had contracted out somebody to provide sound for us and they had issues with their sound system. <laughs> and uh, it happens. So um, overall not too bad. We had, had done awards. Um, for the best decorated thro floats, and we had made plaques for them. Um, <coughs> we had, what we had done is we had taken a picture of the float and then <laughs> had to get it to them after. But actually, I'm going to hopefully give this to you, so maybe you can bring it to, to this. Uh, this particular one is for um, Cardinals football. Okay. They haven't sure. come and picked. Yeah. They haven't picked it up from me, so. Thank you. Um, mm -hmm. But um, the other ones were oh, the Girl Scouts, oh, awesome. and yeah. I'm drawing a blank on the other one at the top of my head here. Um, scouts. There was three. There was three groups. Yeah, but basically all three had a plaque like this, and then they also got a um, twenty-five dollar gift card to Walmart, figuring they could their group could use it for yeah. Yeah. snacks or something, you know. Or decorations. Um, mm. So we thought that went pretty well. Um, <laughs> and it was really nice. It was yeah. like fifty degrees that day. So um, next event coming up is the Winter Carnival on February twentieth from twelve mm -hmm. to three. Right now, we're up to 19 groups signed up to do activities and events. Last year, we had 21, so hopefully we'll still pick up a few more. I think we'll do the town center committee. We'll probably – we ha we meet on Friday morning. Okay. Um, which puts us now at 20, so. <laughs> <laughs> One more we'll so chance we'll, to do um, so yeah, yeah planning's come along. The sledding race with the cardboard sled. That includes the cardboard sledding race. We just started putting flyers out. Um, we've actually got flyers going out in the schools okay. soon. Mm -hmm. um, and yes. um, mm -hmm. snowmobile rides and free snowshoeing and ice fishing and um, demonstrations and a little bit of everything. Um, s'mores. Um, so we're we're good there. Um, I think I'm okay on food. I think friends and family, and then the Leo, the high school Leo's club, is both doing food this year. So, oh, wow. um, the food was good last year. Yeah. Um, <laughs> this past fall, the Merrimack Lions Club had decided to adopt one of the cabins at Wasserman. So, cabin 12, which one, which was a cabin we had um, put some work into it, but still needed some work to really be a nice cabin again. Um, so this fall they were able, before the winter kind of closed in on them, they were able to kind of refix all the window screens and the windows themselves and then kind of painted all the frames. In the spring they'll come back once it gets warm enough out and do interior painting. They've talked about, you know, kind of replacing the 20-year-old sinks and toilets and, you know, that <laughs> kind of stuff. Um, ultimately we'll rename the cabin the Lion's Cabin um, yeah. as part of this. Um, Roar. But that'll be at some point in the spring um, when mm -hmm. that gets done. Um, winter brochure came out um, about a month ago. Awesome. So impressed by your color. I know. Uh, yeah. <laughs> Me awesome. too. It's so colorful. And actually, while you're passing that one out, I'll show you the camp I'll one, too, the camp colors. registration. Yeah. Yeah. Things, right? For those that want to still do camp the old fashioned way, the, the, the paper forms are still Did available. We get one of these for the Oopsie. Um, Thank you. Brochures are available here at Town Hall, at the library, and also at the O'Leary Center. Yeah. <laughs> yes. And I think oh those are going gosh. out. Uh, let's oh. see. Thornton's Ferry just got theirs today, and the other ones are getting them on. Do you want summer camp? So, um, and the last thing I have on my list, I got a request from um, one of the Girl Scout troops in town. 
troop 13912, um, which is second graders, and they're looking for a community service project for the spring. Oh. Most of the things I have on my list are Eagle projects and of Weeding. the like, <laughs> but I'm looking for something, uh, project ideas for second graders, if hmm. anybody has oh. any thoughts. Gardening comes to mind. Yeah, yeah. 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 weeding. Yeah. 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 Weeding's easy. They like to play in the dirt. Is there anybody have um, any particular locations that thinks they need it more than others? Oh, I think. Oh, boy. Oh. Entrance? And just one park or oh. a particular Well, park? it's a troop, so I don't know if they'd want to do more or not, but it's, it's the one that stands out that needs it the most. I know the um, beds in front at Watson, um, okay. they get kind of weedy, but... You're not supposed oh. to touch those. The garden, the garden club takes the care of those. Oh, are they? Oh, oh yeah. Excuse me. Yes. I didn't know. That? Are you in that club, Molly? Yeah. What about at O'Leary? Are, are those... Is there beds in front of that building? Oh, it's um, terrible. No, they have to have a bulldozer. They couldn't. I, <laughs> I was out there four hours last year. Yeah. I was crying. Oh, the, come on. The roses oh. are so bad. Oh, it really? needs a bulldozer to be all dug up yeah. and make oh, it really? nice. Make it nice. But I've asked a hundred times, nobody cares. So, um, you, yeah, the whole front is totally. It was four hours. You should see oh. what I did. But, yeah. And nobody noticed. May, maybe in conjunction with all the new signage in the park, just a couple of signs yeah. or near the um, your office. <laughs> oh, okay. So you're thinking besides. Well, we have been Wasserman. focusing a lot on Wasserman, which is That's good. That's true. But I don't want to. No. Where is this troop out of? Uh, they They're here in town. Yeah. Right. Yeah. But yeah, um, it's CC Labor's yeah. troop. And the library. Um, but I don't it's know ridiculous. Clean up is ridiculous. Okay. They have what if they planted there, some like man, simple flowers like marigolds and whatnot? Yeah. Yeah. The, the trouble is now you got to worry about water. Yeah. It, in, in most yeah. 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 In most any parks we around the signs, it uh, probably a nice little addition, and that's simple enough. And with yeah. parents' yeah. supervision, and they'll naturalize. Mm -hmm. Yeah. 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 Mm -hmm. Okay. Mm -hmm. It's hard. Okay. That's all I got. Excellent. Thank you so much, Matt. Okay, organization reports. <coughs> Young lady. <laughs> oh, I'm up. Yes, you Maureen's are. Up. Maureen. Maureen's up. She's Sorry. out. Happy no. New Year, everybody. Thank you. Uh, the seniors have been very busy. Uh, I don't know what, because I've been sick, so. <laughs> no. um, we had elections of officers. We had a lot of people stepping forward. No, we didn't. Uh, <laughs> I was going to say, that's great. Yeah, really. <laughs> it's unusual. Made you feel good, huh? <laughs> yeah. No. Uh, we have the same president, Bruce Rasmussen. We have the same vice president, Ron Farland. Same secretary, Louise Tedeschi. And treasurer, B. Lamprin. Same exact ones. It's their last year, so we have to have, but we've had a lot of people join. A lot of younger, not, you know, 80 people, 80-year-olds. We've had, sorry, but we've had, like, just turning 55 some of them so and they're very spirited so and so that was good and we're going to have um installation of offices on the 11th monday the 11th. we didn't have a meeting monday because martin luther king uh you've got some great trips i'll tell you compared to <laughs> but we had we duplicated one of them oh oh that's okay um the young islanders are going to be on march 10th they had signups for that and it Unbelievable. Well, we're full. Good, because so. I have nobody. Well, <laughs> should I tell them to call sure. you? Okay. Uh, so the uh, we've got that totally sold out. It's in Swansea, Mass. So they have a, a waiting list. So I shall tell them Monday. And then the next one is the Moulin Rouge uh, in Randolph, Mass. I didn't sign up for this one, but I might. Uh, we had a few openings because that's not filled yet. So, and we have. A whole bunch of things lined up that really aren't they've got to get enough people to sign and then she'll book them but uh, we're going to be busy so in our installation dinner will be February 12th and that's one that everybody pays that's a paid one so but other than that we pretty busy I guess uh, they're going to have a board board of directors meeting which I won't be on anymore because I'm not 
on that committee. I, I kind of backed out, let somebody else do it. And uh, that's it. Any questions? And most of that information is on the website. Yes. But why are you duplicating our trips? I didn't know you were doing that particular trip. <laughs> I think you need to talk to Lorraine about this. <laughs> well, we booked it in like August, so. Oh, okay. I don't think you guys had your. You're trips forgiven. <laughs> out yet. Except ours is so low. Mm. <laughs> Thank you. All set. I'm set. Go. Everything's busy at the MYA presently. Basketball and wrestling are in session. In fact, basketball has a tournament starting, which is one of their major fundraisers tonight, and will run through Sunday at local schools. Um, wrestling also has a tournament coming up in early February, I believe. We have registration open for the following sports, softball, baseball, spring soccer, and lacrosse. And football is basically recuperating from their successful season. And we also have websites for all of those sports for people looking for more info. That's all I have to add. Thank you very much. You're welcome. Seeing no town council member member tonight, right? <laughs> okay, we'll move on to school board. Cinda. Um, yeah, just a couple things. Um, the budget was finalized at the school board by the school board um, to move it on to the budget committee. That happened on Monday and the budget committee started its review process yesterday. Um, the school district deliberative session is Tuesday, March 8th at 7 p.m. at the upper elementary school. Um, one thing I did wanna mention as it relates to the budget is there is a, tra the tr school track is up um, on the budget. It's within the operating budget. Um, the current track at the high school um, can no longer be maintenanced at all. It's um, the company that mean, that was doing maintenance for us. It's in such disrepair that it has to be replaced. Um, so, I mean, there were parts of the track you could kind of pick up, and so dangerous. yeah, it's dangerous and it's not safe. It's a safety issue. So, um, they were able to safely um, keep it safe last year and through this year, but um, there's really no commitment that 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 can be done without risk or um, injury. Wow. So um, I just wanted to let you know that, and I know a lot of people in the public use the track. Um, the times that I've been there, you might see um, various people uh, from the community walking around it. I've seen the young families in the middle flying like an airplane or playing Frisbee or some things like that. So um, I wanted to make sure that I um, had mentioned that as well. Wow. Hmm. How old is that track? I have no. I, I, it just I seems it's I over. Um, it's a, over ten years yeah. old. There's going um, to be a wide long. Wide yeah, one. the um, they're going out. You know, they'll do a few. S, you know, like okay. kind of quotes for it and stuff too. But there's a couple of other large items that hit the operating budget. Sure. Um, one of them is 1.1 million dollars to replace the roof on the middle school, oh. um, and that's just over ten years old as well. So just out of um, warranty. So um, <laughs> um, okay. between those two items, it's a, it's a big, those are some big capital hits. Wow. Well, thank you so much. Wow. Okay. Uh, no public here now. We had their comments earlier. <laughs> Any further mm -hmm. comments by the committee? Okay. Uh, next meeting is February 6th, 17th with the winter carnival on the 20th. I hope you guys, people can make it. And then March 16th. Oh, just fine. So, no. <laughs> do I hear? Motion to adjourn. Thank yeah. you, Cynthia. <laughs> I second it. There Thank you, you Maureen. Oh, nice myself. to see you all, but. Yes. It's nice to get jammies on. <laughs> yeah, all all the, oh, yeah, thank you. All those in favor? Aye. Aye. And thank you so much for coming out. I drove over today. I, knew you. So I don't blame you. Oh, I, I, was, I weed babies out yesterday and, uh, uh, down in Melrose, and I've run the dog because Nick works real long yeah. on Tuesdays. <laughs> and uh, he didn't want to go out. And uh, as soon as he booted, 
turned around. And <laughs> Let's what go kind back of dog? Now. He's a town terrier. Yeah.